Welcome back. The future of the digital landscape. Siemens is set to hold its Innovation Day, which aims to help show just how digitation, uh, digitization is not only changing the world, but making things better and easier than ever. Joining us now is the chairman and CEO of Siemens USA, Lisa Davis. Lisa, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell us about Innovation Day and where you see the most innovation in terms of industry today. Yeah, um, well, it's, it's a pleasure to be here, as I said. Um, Innovation Day for Siemens is really our opportunity to show our approach to bringing digital solutions from concept to reality. So today what we do with our customers is we demonstrate to them what kind of the real world applications are around digital solutions and how these solutions help create value in their business, whether it's in reducing costs and in increasing reliability, improving productivity, et cetera. Uh, we hold this in the U.S. The U.S. is the largest market for us in Siemens, and it's important it's important to, demonstrate, or to, to maybe emphasize that the U.S. has played a very key role in our digital journey in Siemens. Uh, we've acquired a number of software companies here in the U.S., and this has allowed us to become one of the top 10 software companies in the world, and this is the value we bring now to our customers. Uh, we see innovation really playing heavily in industry and in infrastructure now in terms of being able to create the ability for our customers, as I said earlier, to reduce costs, to improve reliability and, and productivity, and being able to really create value out of the, the, the magnitude of data that they have in their operations. Yeah, and you, you're showing a number of industries. Ankur, you've tried to disrupt the healthcare industry with your own innovation. Yeah. So we're, uh, we're looking at some interesting technology. I'm curious, yeah. Lisa, what do you think right now is the most interesting Internet of Things application for consumers, everyday people? Yeah, you know, we're... Yeah, for, for consumers, everyday people, I mean, our applications, what we're trying to do is bring some of the, the advancements that have now entered the consumer space into industry and infrastructure. So some of those advancements are the ability to better optimize. For example, if you look at the electrical grids and, and the, the flexibility and change that's happening in the energy business, we can now bring that ability to optimize into that space to create value and reduce the cost of power, electricity, for consumers. So this is really creating a, a, an improvement in the everyday lives of people. Well, how do you think this will affect even just health care at home? I mean, having all these sensors at integrated in your house, in the new uh, wearable devices, etc. I know that's not directly in this, but I imagine a lot of the innovation you're developing could be used for that. Yeah, it is. A lot of the innovation that we're developing is around being able to take the information from equipment that we have broadly, with, you know, in different industries, whether it be a healthcare, whether it be energy, whether it be mobility, for example, our trains. Also in the industry area, you know, some of the, the facilities that we have equipment in, machine tool building, etc., and being able to leverage that data to allow our customers to improve their operations, to be able to save money so that they can then reinvest that money in the business to hopefully allow them to grow and create more jobs. So it has a, a truly a direct impact on the people that we do business with. Lisa, we talk about the macro story all the time. Can you give us a sense of how uh, demand is right now? What are you seeing in terms of business? Yeah, you know, if, if, uh, if I look at our businesses from a Siemens perspective, and obviously we, we participate in many sectors in, in the U.S., the U.S. being our largest, our largest market, uh, we see very strong demand in our healthcare business. We see very strong demand in, in industry. Um, obviously, we continue to improve our digital capabilities in the U.S. so that we can help our customers um, satisfy that demand by allowing them to, to convert the data that they have in their business into real value. So a lot of demand in, in advanced manufacturing, a lot of demand in, in, as I said, in healthcare and being able to leverage the data from the equipment that, that our healthcare providers are using to diagnose patients. See a lot of demand also in the energy business. Obviously the energy business globally and here in the U.S. is a business that's going through a tremendous amount of change. And right. our strength in that business and and the capability that we have from a software perspective allows us to create value out of all the data that we have in that industry. Real quick, here's Kristen Tate. Hi, Lisa. Kristen Tate here. You're mentioning healthcare and yeah. energy. How do, you, how do sure. the efficiencies in these industries, how will they affect the profits of these industries going forward? 
Well, I mean, the, the efficiency, if you, if you look at what creates value in a company, it's about the ability to be more efficient with how money is invested, so to be able to reduce costs. It's about bringing new innovation to the marketplace, to right. the different businesses. From a Siemens perspective, we're spending more and more over a billion a year and increased by 16% last year Fantastic. in research and development here in the U.S. That's bringing innovation to those customers. Lisa, thank you so much. Lisa Davis.